The emperor is coming to your province. To honor him, you must build the tallest and most extravagant pagodas the world has ever seen. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity that you have to capitalize on in Pagoda, which was designed by Arve de Fuller and published by Pegasus Spiel. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph. We're here with Board Game Geek and today's In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek Store. Well, we've got to build up into the sky, so let's get this game down to the table and go In Focus on Pagoda. Pagoda is a two-player set collection 3D building game where players will be working on six pagodas trying to score the most points to impress the Emperor. Players will have seven cards, five in an open display and two hidden in their hand so their opponent doesn't have perfect information. Throughout the game, players will collectively but competitively work on pagodas which will consist of different colored columns and floors. On their turn, a player may take three actions repeatedly and in any order. They may build columns to a maximum of three per turn, they may build floors, and they may build roofs to finish pagodas. To build a column, players will turn in a card of the matching column color and place a column on one of the four matching spots on any building. Players must always follow the color of the columns, which will change as floors are added. Each column placed will score points. One point for columns placed on the ground floor, two points for the second floor, three for the third, and four points for the fourth. After the fourth floor, pagodas are at their max height and must be finished. To build a pagoda floor tile, a player will turn in one card and take a floor tile matching the columns and place it on top. This will grant the player one point and a special ability that corresponds to that color floor. And lastly, players can build a roof on finished buildings. To build a roof, players will have to turn in three cards, one card matching the color of the roof, and then two matching the spire on top of the finished roof tile. Doing this will gain the player the corresponding color's ability and six points. So we're building these gorgeous pagodas, their columns and floors changing colors in beautiful ways. But what's these powers I keep hearing about? Building a floor or roof tile grants the player that color's ability. This is tracked on the player's architect board. When a power is gained, players will slide the cube to the very right of the ability, which allows them to use it twice before it's depleted. The purple fan ability allows players to fill their secret hand to four cards instead of two, giving them more options. The yellow dragon ability allows players to immediately discard any number of cards from their hand and open display and replenish them. The Green Bowl of Rice ability allows players to use two matching cards to build one column of any color. Whereas the Blue Buddha ability allows the players to turn in two matching cards to build a floor or roof tile of any color. And finally, the Red Lantern ability allows players to build four columns on their turn instead of the maximum of three. Players may use these abilities the moment they get them and all abilities may be used on a player's turn. Players will go back and forth building columns, floors, and roofs, and the game will end once three full pagodas have been built. And in the end, the player with the most points will win. Pagoda is a simple game of building towers and trying to not set up your opponents. The worst thing you can do is leave a tower with four columns and no floor. Now your opponent will just roll through, put a floor on there, get the ability and start building columns on top for more points. And if this tough back and forth seems like something you might be interested in, make sure to check out Pagoda's page on BoardGameGeek.com and check out a review. And if you want to upgrade your game night with the Bitbulls you saw featured throughout this video, make sure to check out the Board Game Geek store. Until next time, I've been Nick Murphy, we're here with Board Game Geek and we We've been going in focus on Pagoda. Have a great day.